After failing to qualify for the last two World Cup, Italy now risks missing next year's European Championship too. So what happened to Italy? What's lacking in Italy? If you don't know, let's get no. What happening in Italy? Italy drew with North Macedonia in their Euro 2024 qualifying match on Saturday. The result was an improvement from Italy's loss to North Macedonia in the World Cup qualifying playoffs last year, but it was still not good enough. Italy remains third in Group C, behind England and Ukraine. Italy coach Luciano Spalletti has had little time to work with his players since taking over the team at the start of the month, following the resignation of Roberto Mancini. However, we will be hoping for a better performance for Italy when they face Ukraine in their next qualifier. The top two teams in each group qualify for Euro 2024, with the third place going into the playoffs. Italy will need to step up their game if they want to qualify for the tournament. So what lacking in Italy? Italian soccer has not been the same. Serie A is now the number four ranked league in Europe and has lost a spot in the Champions League starting next year. The Italian national team has also fallen to 11th in the top 25 rankings. So here are three important points what Italy is lacking. 1. Match fixing scandal. The reigning champions at that time, Juventus, and four other Italian teams were involved in a match fixing scandal. Juventus, Milan, Lazio, Fiorentina, and Regina were all punished, with the most severe penalty being handed to La Vecchia Signora. Not only has the match-fixing scandal hurt the league in terms of losing players, but Italian soccer as a whole is being looked at differently because of the controversy. 2. Italian Youth Italy is having a hard time developing young talented Italian players like we are accustomed to seeing. In the glory years, Italy produced players like Totti, Nesta, Canavero, Buffon, and Del Piero regularly. These players got where they are today because they were given the chance to play at a young age. In a day where teams won instant results, the big Italian teams are not very patient with developing their players. Instead, they are eager to buy players who are already established. 3. Coaching and Tactics Italy's soccer is declining because of poor coaching and tactics. The best coaches left Italy and the new coaches are not experienced or world-class. This shows in the way teams play, which is slow and defensive. Italy needs to fix these problems to restore the glory of Italian soccer. So what you think about Italy, comment down below. Subscribe to MR Mela for football facts and analysis.